I did some really good reading this month. Um, I have about five books here that I finished and want to tell you about. So let's get into it. This is not necessarily in the order that I read these books, but it's the order that I'm showing you. So let's start with Faux, which I did. And this is by Ian Reid. I did a whole video about this comparing the book to the movie. So if you want to hear more about my thoughts, I highly recommend you go watch that video. I can't remember what I rated it in that video, but the more I sit with this book, <laughs> the more I feel like I have to give it a three, especially I am comparing it to other books that I've read this month. So yeah, I'm giving this a three. Next, I read or actually listened to the audiobook of Blacktop Wasteland by S.A. Cosby. And this was a recommendation by somebody in a comment of a TikTok video. And I am so happy that they recommended this to me. One of my goals this year was to read more books by black men because I, I read a lot of black women authors, but the list of books I've read by black men is pretty short. So I was like, that needs to change this year. And I'm so thankful that I now have another black male author to add to that list. This book is about a man who has to make some really tough choices in order to provide for his family. Um, it is a crime thriller. I would describe it as and it's really good so I highly suggest it especially the audiobook the narration of it is fantastic and I can't wait to read another book by him also I give Blacktop Wasteland I think I give it a four I really liked it it was suspenseful it was entertaining it just took me a couple of chapters to get into it but once I was in it I was in it. Next, I read Stay With Me by Ayabami Adeleo. It's in cursive. I can't even read. I can barely read that. So <laughs> please forgive me for my mispronunciation. Um, but Stay With Me is about a woman who is trying to get pregnant. It's um, based in Nigeria. And this woman is trying to get pregnant and can't figure out why she isn't able to. She does become pregnant, but the way that, that happens is wild. This whole book is wild. Honestly, most of the characters are very unlikable, but the story, I, could not, I couldn't stop reading it. Every day, I was like, okay, I need to finish this book. I need to keep reading. I need to keep reading. And I'm glad that I read it, but I'm going to give it a four only because the characters are so unlikable. <laughs> Next is another audiobook that was recommended to me on TikTok. This is She Started It by C.N. Gilbert, um, who is a British writer, I believe. The narration, this book, <laughs> this is a mystery thriller. Five women show up to an island for a bachelorette party and only two of them leave. So <laughs> this was, that's the type of book I want to read more mysteries. Um, and the twist on the end of this got me. I want to do a full video about this, but this one got me. I don't want to give any spoilers, but I do recommend it. Okay, here's the thing. <clears throat> I give this book a 3.5 because I hated every character in this. Every single character in this book was not likable, which they aren't supposed to be. You know, people die for a reason in this book. <laughs> I don't know if the reason is that. that no, it is. It is. <laughs> It is. Anyway, um, fortunately, I think if I was reading this physical book, I would not have finished it. But because it was an audiobook, I could kind of just like, you know, multitask through the bits that I didn't like and then really be invested in the parts that I did. And again, the switch up got me. <laughs> so I am giving this book a 3.5, but I still recommend it. So last but not least, we have The Nickel Boys by Colson Whitehead. This book all but broke me, to be honest. This is a very sad book. It's about a boy who is basically falsely imprisoned and is sent to this camp, which it's supposed to be a school, but there is no schooling. <sighs> He's being punished for something that he didn't do. And yeah, it talks about the things that he witnesses and experiences while there. And it's extremely heartbreaking, but this also has a twist. I thought, so it goes back and forth between past and present. I don't want to spoil this for anyone. Um, 
<laughs> it goes back and forth. And because of that, I was like, okay, well, he's fine. Like everything's fine because they're showing us present day and everything is fine. But in fact, everything is not fine. And that's all I'm gonna say. And everyone should go read this book. It was, again, I just wanna get straight into the plot. So the first couple of chapters felt like, I think the first chapter felt like a little bit of a drag for me. But after that, I was fully in it. And so I think I give this a 4.5. <sighs> the ending it makes me want to cry even thinking about it anyway so those are all the books I read in February I am looking forward to talking more about some of these books probably on TikTok I don't think I'll do a full video on individual books on YouTube so please go follow me on TikTok if you're interested in seeing any of those now let's get into all the books I'm hoping to read in March so first we have Night Crawling by Layla Motley I have actually I started this maybe a week ago and the first seven chapters weren't my favorite I don't want to say they were bad because they were very emotional and it gave a lot of context but I wasn't hooked it took until the eighth chapter. The eighth chapter really hooked me. And so I'm going to keep going. I'm going to finish this hopefully today. And I'll talk more about it on TikTok. So if you want to hear a detailed chat about this book, go follow me there. But yeah, so far, I would love for this to be a five star read because people are loving this book. But it, the first, again, the first seven chapters weren't hitting for me. So it's probably not going to be a five for me. But this book is about a girl in Oakland named Kiara, I think. I can't even remember her name. Um, she has gone through a lot with her family. Both of her parents have been arrested. Her brother is pretty traumatized from things that have happened in their family. And so they're really struggling. And so she has to make some difficult choices in order to try to provide for herself, her brother, and her neighbor, actually. And so this is about that i the synopsis for this book does not tell you enough it's not even that it doesn't tell you enough about it it's a lie <laughs> the synopsis for this book just like is way too vague and i feel like it wants to make this book more approachable than it is because this is about sex work and there is statutory rape in this book as well as some police doing terrible things so know that going into it as trigger warnings but yeah i will let you know more on tiktok after i finish this book next i'm hoping to read seven days in june by tia williams this book has been on my tbr for a minute but i just kept pushing it back for other books but yeah i got it as a birthday present from one of my friends tiana and so i'm so excited to get into it i read the prologue which is only like a page and a half but the first paragraph is hilarious the first paragraph is so funny so i'm really excited to continue reading this i definitely want to read this month minor details this is going to be i know a very emotional read and it's going to be a challenge but it's you know it's short so it's not that type of challenge but i think the emotional part of it is going to be hard so maybe um, i'm going to try to slip this in between two i think this is actually good i'll read seven days in june and then i'll read this and then i'll read my next book my sister the serial killer which has been on my tbr since last year um, I was also trying to, I was trying to borrow this for the, from the library for the longest time and it was never available. <laughs> so I'm glad that I finally got it. For some reason, this is a mystery as well. And for some reason, I thought this was a huge book. I thought this book was going to be, and maybe that's why I kept putting it off because I definitely thought this was going to be like 400 pages, but it's un poquito and we like small books. <laughs> So yeah, I'm excited to read that as well. And last but not least, actually, there's one more book. There's two more books. There's two more. <laughs> two other books that I want to read that I don't have physical copies of are Apples. Apples Do Fall, I think is the title. It's being turned into a series. I'm going to have a picture here. I don't really have any more details about it but I want to read it. <laughs> and then the zone of interest I'm also currently reading and we'll talk more about in an upcoming video. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And last but not least, I want to read, 
this is not going to happen. When I think about it, I, so far I have one, two, three, four, five, six books. <laughs> Six books on my TBR. So a 500 page book is probably not gonna be read this month, but I really want to. This is The Warmth of Other Suns, The Epic Story of America's Great Migration by Isabel Wilkerson. And I've had this book for like two years. I think I got it for my birthday from my dad a couple of years ago. And it's a great book. I'm about a hundred pages into it, but it's very emotional. It goes into Jim Crow and um, the lives of black people during this time. Because of that, I read a chapter, uh, not even a chapter, I read a portion of a chapter and then I have to put it down and walk away for a little bit to take care of myself. And maybe, I'm like, if I do that every day, I'll get through it, but what emotional toll will it take on me? You know what I mean? I would love to finish this book this month. It probably isn't gonna happen, but that is my hope. So those were the books I read in February and hope to read in March. Wish me luck. If you want to know more about these individual books and hear my thoughts on them, go follow me on TikTok where I'll be posting more there. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.